Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you how to sell NFTs or non fungible tokens on OpenSea. Now, you may have heard about NFTs. I actually did a video about that, and you should be able to see it on your screen above. If you're a graphic designer or artist, you might have heard about NFTs or NFTs and how Beeple, who is a well known digital artist, sold one of his JPEGs for $69 million a couple weeks ago. And he's not the only artist making a killing on NFTs. I'm going to go over a few need to know items about NFTs, and then we'll jump into how to create one on OpenSea. If you want to just skip to that part, I'll add a comment in the comment section below, and then you can just bypass all this stuff. Okay, so first I want to say that making an NFT is not free or even cheap right now. When you make an NFT, you have to pay something that is called Ethereum gas. Ethereum gas is basically a fee to create a smart contract, and then you pay more Ethereum gas to actually create these NFTs. The price of gas fluctuates based on how much miners charge to write new data to the blockchain. Now I know this sounds completely confusing and crazy, but just know you have to pay some fees. Anyway, a few months ago, the price to mint a new NFT was pretty low, about six to $10 but now it is much, much higher because the gas price fee has fluctuated so much. But it changes every day. It can even change in the middle of the night. So keep an eye on it. Maybe you can get a good price for your NFT. And OpenSea actually has a new way of charging for an account initialization. And then after that, uploading NFTs is free. Another thing to be aware of, you need an Ethereum wallet to create an NFT, at least for OpenSea. Ethereum is a cryptocurrency just like Bitcoin, and both of them use blockchain technology to run. NFTs also use blockchain technology, so you don't really have the option of using a different currency at the moment. Finally, I've also heard that you need your artwork approved on OpenSea. So there's an approval process and a chance that you could be denied even after paying all these gas fees. Now, NFTs can be made from pretty much any digital asset. So JPEGs, animated GIFs, even like music albums, MP4 videos, that kind of thing. All right, so let's get started making our first NFT. So for this NFT, I'm going to be using this photo, which is a picture of a couple of rocks that my husband and I painted. And obviously this isn't something that I really want to put on there because, you know, it's not great. I don't think it would sell. You want to make sure that your NFTs are really beautiful and sellable. And this is just a tutorial, so I'm just putting whatever up there. Okay, I'm going to go out to OpenSea.io and I've already set up an account here. So you'll need to do that first. So I'll come up here to create. And now I get this message that says you need an Ethereum wallet to use OpenSea. And you'll need to do it with MetaMask probably, but you can also use a different wallet. I'm going to use MetaMask in this tutorial. So at this point, there are two things you'll need to do. If you don't already have an Ethereum wallet, you can do that with Binance, Coinbase, or another wallet company. And then once that's all set up, then you have to buy Ethereum inside Coinbase or wherever. Then you'll use MetaMask to link to it. And by the way, MetaMask charges a service fee of 0.875% for each quote. If you don't have a MetaMask account, you'll need to set that up. And then you'll need to link your Coinbase or whatever to it. You'll also need to get the Chrome extension, which I already have. I'll just turn it on. Now I'd like to say that doing all of that is an easy process, but it was kind of a pain in the butt to get a Coinbase account, put Ethereum in it, and then link my MetaMask. But anyway, I have the extension right up here. I'm going to click it and then I have to put my password in. Now you can get pretty far into this tutorial without having any Ethereum in your MetaMask account, but uh, at a certain point, you won't be able to see how much that you'll be charged for the account initialization. So you have to have something in here to see that. Now, if you're using Coinbase, that's what I use to link your account. You want to choose Ethereum mainnet right up here. Then you'll need to unlock your account by entering your password, and then you can go ahead and click buy. So if I click buy here, we can come down here and do directly deposit ether. Once you do that, you'll have a code that MetaMask gives you. Then you go back to Coinbase 
and then do send and receive and paste that code in as the address. And that's going to be different for every crypto account you have. For me, it was not easy to figure that out. So I wanted to share that with you if you're using Coinbase. Okay, so we've linked our account. So now I'm going to refresh the page. Now we'll go to create and this will bring you to your collections page. Yours probably won't already have a collection in it. So now we'll create our first collection. So I'll come down here to create and we'll submit a logo. I'm just going to use that same image. We'll call it rocks and then we can put a description in down here and then we'll create. It's probably a good idea to put good keywords in your collection name and your description. We have created our rocks collection and now we can add items. You can also upload an image here for your rocks collection. Then we'll click add new item. Now this part won't work unless you have a little Ethereum in your account. So I put $10 in and it worked for me. Now you'll have to sign within MetaMask so you can just click that. And now we can create our item. I'm going to choose the same JPEG and now we can create our name. For the description, I want to include uh, a lot of different keywords that pertain to your image. I'm just going to type rocks everywhere. Then you can add properties and this is kind of like categories. I'm not going to fill that out, but you can also do levels. These are numerical traits that show as a progress bar. You can also add stats. I'm not completely sure what these are for. I think your levels might be something like, you know, this is number three of the five rock series or something like that. Okay. And then we can go to create. We'll have to sign again. So I'm going to choose that and then we'll click sell. Here's where we can set our price. Um, I'm going to put in 0.055 Ethereum, which right now is almost $100. You can also include an ending price if you want. You can schedule it for a future time or make it private so only one person can buy it. There are also some instructions down at the bottom that talk about making your two transactions. So this is where you have to pay gas. So now we can post our listing. Now to do that, it's asking us to initialize your account. This is what I was talking about where you have to do two transactions. And then after that listing NFTs is free. So this price is going to change depending on the time of day, what day it is. It, it's all very subjective and it depends on how much traffic the Ethereum blockchain is getting. So right now, if I was to actually create this, I would have to pay $128.33. And yesterday when I was testing out this video tutorial, uh, the price was $111. So it's gone up $17 in one day. So that's something to think about. Obviously I don't have enough Ethereum in here to actually create this NFT. Even if I did, I probably wouldn't do it. Now I have heard that if you wait until the middle of the night in the U S you can get it for like $55 or something right now. So definitely check different times of the day if you're very serious about this. All right, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.